Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. We've made it here to uh, Jahara. And I'm not sure, in all honesty, I'm really not sure this is where I need to be. But you know what? I think there's still some more exploring to do around the Osman Plains. I want to see where uh, the rest of these paths lead. Turn on the fast forward. Turn off encounters. Not turn off encounters, but ignore en encounters. Let's see. Let's go over here first. I'm trying to open the chest, but I can't. There's a high potion in there too. My characters are beat the fuck up. Alright, it's a new area. And I think already with this episode now, this Let's Play is starting to go over the length of my Final Fantasy IV Let's Play. And that's crazy. Like, it really doesn't feel like we've played this game very long, but we're at 38 hours now. Getting beat the fuck up. Come on, Bothier, just fucking steal. Still can't steal. Now I'm blinded. That's great. These enemies just keep coming out of fucking nowhere. Alright, that one's dead now at least. Yeah. 
And there she goes. Uh... I cannot steal from this bullcroc. Bullcroc, more like bullshit. I just cannot steal from this thing. It's just not going to happen, I guess.
It's got to have something amazing. If it's, the, if it's being this difficult. Oh, I got it. Holy shit. Bothier stole a piece of blood wool. You've got to be fucking kidding me. That was complete horseshit. Uh. This is complete and utter horseshit. How do I make it to where you just stay the fuck away from the enemy? Is that something I can do? Nelly, you just stay out the fucking way. Come on, kill it. There we go.
It was this, blood wool. That's what I got. <laughs> what? That's what I stole. This wool is of exceedingly high quality, and as such, is the privilege only of nobles and landed gentry. Birds outside my window have been acting up today. They have been feeling themselves. It's starting to annoy me, honestly. This place is a dead end. I don't think I want to fuck with that thing. Uh, we're running away. I'm sorry, sir. Really? Really, game? You put it right there. Right up my asshole. Just let me grab a few treasures and I'll be on my way. 200 gil, not worth it. Ether, worth it. Yeah, we're, we are getting fucked up now. I'm going to go back to Jahara just so I can get to that save point and heal my, my characters. Fuck off. Fuck off. Maybe you should put a price.
I mean, you could eat a dick. Maybe one day you will. Maybe you never will. Sure. Let's see where we're up here, guys. Wow. Wow. I went the wrong way. Oh! Death, death is everywhere. Slasher. Yeah. Now I have two of them. Save points here too, how convenient. Game Hunter. Ah, travelers, are you? We were traveling too, so the fell creatures of Osman Plain got the better of my partner here. We're exhausted. Where are you headed, by the way? Uh, Jahara? Then you're headed the wrong way. Jahara's back the way you came. But what's up here? Go more jungle. Maybe I shouldn't fuck with this place. Everything, everything is in red. No, I'm sure, I'm sure we're going to come here eventually. No, let's not fuck with this place. I'm making the executive decision on that. All right, well, let's just see where this place goes this underground passage and then we'll be on our way Everything's in red here, too. Well, fuck, let's just test these things out. Of course, we trigger an explosion. Won't say about that. 
Let's just test them out. Let's see how fucking dangerous they are. They're pretty fucking- yeah, they're pretty fucking dangerous. Okay, you made your point. Okay, all that was about a waste of time. Damn, that Osmo nap was expensive. Who are you? This is Gareth Land. No place for Hume children to play at games. They are warefarers. They bring no harm. I saw them cross the Osmo plain. They are warriors of great distinction. The fiends of the plains troubled them not at all. You ventured upon the plains alone, War Chief. Again? What business have you with the Gareth? Well, this is a different race of people, by the way, I guess. Pretty similar to Hume's. Let them pass. This responsibility will be mine. If this is your wish, War Chief, then you may pass. These days see many Humes wandering through our lands. All I all, ah, I have not made introductions. I am Supinilu Supinilu, War Chief of this village. Are you going to join our party as guests? Because that'd be cool. We, Gareth, have been friends to all since long ago. However, lately the Hume world is in much turmoil. We must protect our village and our people. As war chief and protector of our village, I ask you, why have you come to this land? Hmm, I see. So you too have come to ask about the Nethesite. You must speak with the elders. Though our mask may make it difficult for you to tell us apart, walk through the village and look with your eyes, listen with your ears. What is this? Another Hume visitor to our land? This is most unusual. Have you too come to speak with our elder chieftains?
Ah, you are the Hume the war chief has spoken of. You have crossed the plains to learn of the stones, yes? I believe the elders can tell you much. You seem a great warrior. You seem a great warrior. But it is best you avoid Zeratin caverns. These are many fell creatures there. There are many fell... Blah. There are many fell creatures there. And of late, worse. A fiend with strange powers has been seen. Perhaps this is why the other creatures there have grown yet more violent. Ah, you are the Humes our war chief saw on the plains. Welcome to our village, protected by the clear flow of the Sagaho. I am Supinalu's brother, Kadalu. I worry, for Supinalu often goes to the plains alone. Why, when the others surely wish to train with him? He is stubborn this way. Your, your pardon, I spoke of a personal matter. Please forget it. You have business with the elders, yes? On you go. What is this? More Humes come to visit us. A little bigger this time, but no matter. You need not tell me anything. I know you have come to our village to learn of the stones, the Nethesite. We Gareth have knowledge of this, passed down from father to son, mother to daughter. Some of it remains, some of, some has lost, some has been lost in history's sands. I know nothing of the stones. You must speak to the great chief. He alone holds the deep knowledge of these things. He alone remembers all the tellings. Cross the bridge to the north, and there you will find him. There are watches at the bridge, so I think it best to speak with War Chief Supinalu. May I ask you of a favor? Give this to War Chief Supinalu for me. Jayastek. There is no rush. When you next happen to meet him, you may give it to him then. May you find all the answers you seek. Our great chief, he will know of the Nether site. If he tells you he does not know, then you must abandon your search, for no one knows. Oh, also, I must ask you to give the Jayastek to our war chief. Now I hope you will find the knowledge you seek. Sitting here on the earth, one comes to see many things, the great flow of the world, even the flow of man's thoughts. There is a wood to the southeast of here, where the mist is uncommonly thick. Even its flowers are perilous to men. If you would pass through that wood, be wary of places where the mist runs thickest. Many people come here to our village of late. Perhaps the road of Tegiza is open. Once again, we can bring medicinal herbs and the fine cheese of the Nana to the people of Giza, where the rains have lifted. I will do this. Do you need anything? Please take your time, for the world has much of it for the taking. Whew. I'm kind of broke. I'm kind of broke at the moment. And I do not have much to sell, I don't think.
A lot of shit here. Have you heard of the monographs? Merely bearing one of these on your person aids it the retrieval of objects from the foes you defeat. There are different monographs for different persuasions of adventurer. As a merchant, I would love one, if only I knew where it might be found. Fire up. Okay, there's really only a few weapons I need to buy here. Isn't this the same as poison? Heavily damaged one third over time. Greetings, you are a traveler, yes? Our village is not like a Hume village, but you are welcome to find what comfort here, as you may.
The green creatures you see in my enclosure are nanas, the best livestock in all the Ivalice. No part of the mana goes to waste. Meat, hide, and bones all have their uses. They are strong against drought and cold and, oh yes, easily herded. Hmm, nether site. Perhaps the great chief knows something. He is across the bridge to the north. You would do best to speak to the war chief before attempting to cross. The warriors guarding the bridge are his. That what you carry, it is a giant stick. Beyond here lies the hill where sits the great chief. Those from the outside are not welcome here. The high chief has given this to me. I shall receive it. I thank you for bringing it to me. Now, did you learn what you wished? No, do not tell me. It is written clear upon your face, so even the high chief could not help. Then you must meet the great chief. Yes, it is true. The Great Chief may know something that would aid you, yet arranging an audience may be quite difficult. I must learn more about the Nethesite. I cannot turn back now. Please tell your Great Chief that, that I am of the Royal Line of Damasca, a direct descendant of Dynast King Wraithwall. If the Gareth have passed down knowledge of the stones, they must know of the Nethesite that the Dynast King once held. Do you have proof of your heritage? I... I do not. Hmm. I have looked into your eyes and see that you speak the truth, Hume Child. I give... I give you my trust. The Great Chief is ahead across this bridge. Ooh. The great chief is across this bridge at the meeting place. Walk softly, friend. Ah, you wonder about the stick. If you wish to know more, ask the high chief. Do not ask me about this manner. If the war chief has given you his trust, so shall I. Go meet with the great chief. Gosh, you're sure giving me a lot of fucking opportunities to not go meet with the Great Chief. So I guess when I go meet him, shit's gonna go down. There is a rich magicite vein near the, this village. Did you know? It is an important and very holy place to us. Yet in recent years, humes have spoiled the land. They use machines to mine more and more of the stones. They steal power from the earth at their own peril, for the earth is, will surely take it back. That was a little Final Fantasy 70, but okay. Ah, oh, Hume Child, it is unusual for you for your kind to visit us here on your knoll. Have you come to speak with the great chief? He is in the meeting place before the bridge. You will know it by the guard standing at the entrance. Oh, a Hume child, this is most unusual. You seem quite burly for one so young. We are old here, and you may find our village lacks the excitement you crave, but sometimes it is better to move slowly.
A pheasant net suit. What the hell is that? Ah, Hume Child, I am surprised to see you here. This hill is called the Elder Knoll. Here, go, here does the great chief hold council with the other elders. We care of welcome outsiders to our village, but few are they who are allowed here. You must be on important business indeed. Great Chief is ahead. Will you meet with them? This net is right. You have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? In ages past, the gods made a gift of Nethysite to my people. But... The manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a young king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraithwall flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. Cannot wield it? So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use this stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the Dynast King himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, the stone's power. It will be your posterity who will the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst. A terrible longing to drink the world dry. 
the power of men and of magic, of good and of evil. It is often those who desire neticide on the neticide itself desires. <sighs> Larsa? To Baromi, sis. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon. He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the Resistance, and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia. And Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. But to answer. Ash, let us go to Bur Omasace. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown, and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Dalmatica. As Queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Dalmatica, and stop Marquis Ondor. For peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear, and you would have me save them from war? Damascus would be the battlefield. What if Nethesite were used on Ravanasta? You know my brother would do this. <sighs> Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please take me as your hostage. Rustler. You saw him, didn't you? Like at the king's tomb. So you did see him too. But why? It's strange. Before. I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? Maybe the person I saw was my brother. Bosh told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How can he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different for Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow. Alone. And then, I miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate, or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. I was just... I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. I wish I knew. I'll find them.
I will accompany you to Mount Baromises. I had hoped you'd say yes. I'm glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet waiting on Baromises. Who is that? An enemy. And an ally also. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. Your brother? Vane? That Larsa likes his secrets. He does not mean ill by it. He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. stands at the northern end of the Yacht Ramuda. Once we're in Yacht, we need not fear pursuit by their airships. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yacht Yenser, right up to Ravel's tomb. Sky's done that works even in Yacht. You know, leather sights behind it. Little wonder they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the Nethersite, eh? Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Nothing could be further from my mind. Shall I swear by your sword or some such? Apologies, but I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you, and you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man will do the same. And we got Larsa back. So, you will leave. Take this as a token of our parting. Reserve crossbow, you obtain a quiver of onion bolts. There we go. If you would ride a chocobo, you may. I have spoken with the Moogle. She will not charge you for your first use of the chocobos. Take care on the road ahead. Should I lead back to our land? You are welcome guests. Spirits of the land watch over you. Okay. Well, that's where I'm going to have to end this one. So until next time.